All right, guys, I've got a great video for you today on budget fragrances, three sweet gourmand fragrances, 100 ml bottles under $50 from the House of Reminiscence. I talk about this house and their fragrance patchouli, but I just recently picked up these three, three fragrances from FragranceNet, which I have a link in the info box. You can go there and buy them directly. And I'm wowed at how great these are and great price they are. I'm talking about the first one, Drague, this one right here. Second one is Guimauve, this one right here. Finally, the third one is Heliotrope. This is a, co a collection called Les Notes Gourmands, and I'm gonna tell you all about these three fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian. Yes, I'm talking about Reminiscence. And Reminiscence is a house I've talked about a lot on the channel. Uh, uh, with Dahlia, she and I both are fans of Rem Reminiscence's patchouli. But these are kind of like going out of the patchouli direction and into more gourmand territory. These are also feminine targeted. So if you're a man and you like sweet uh, gourmand fragrances, you can try these out and see if they work for you. But they are targeted feminine. These are great fragrances. I know there's some sweet fragrance lovers out there and Valentine's Day is around the corner. I think these are perfect for this particular season. The other thing is these are also kind of a very uh, Easter colors to me. The pink bottle, the green bottle, and then also the, the white bottle. What's missing is the yellow and kind of like pastel looking colors and it totally reminds me of Easter. So I'll let you know about these uh, three fragrances before I do. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Um, also speaking about giveaways, I'm going to do this announcement. There was some scammer recently who responded to a bunch of messages on a video that said, uh, you're a winner, contact me on WhatsApp. Do not ever contact anybody to claim a prize. I will never do that kind of a giveaway. All you have to do is send an email to an email address that I have. So please, please, please do not contact anyone. They are basically going to scam you into I don't know what, but it is not me. And the only way you can claim a prize from me is by sending me an email and authenticating your giveaway prize by commenting on the video that the prize or the giveaway was running on. So let's talk about Lenotes Gourmands. These are fragrances that launched in uh, 2000 eight, two of them, and one in 2012. And the first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is the one from 2012. But if you don't know who Reminiscence is, Reminiscence is a company that used to be a jewelry brand and also perfumes. For the longest time, this is how it was, but recently they separated. The jewelry company went their separate way and the perfumes went uh, their separate way as well. And the one that I talk about a lot, as I said, is Reminiscence Patchouli. And uh, some of you have been asking me to cover other fragrances from this house. So I will be slowly digging into this house. And I felt like these are great, great fragrances because these bottles are really, really cute. They're feminine. They're cute. I think they would make great um, bottles to display with all your other bottles and things like that. And again, these are feminine targeted fragrances, but if you like gourmands, sweet fragrances, check them out. See, because one of them reminds me of uh, Love Don't Be Shy from Killian, and I think it's a great alternative for Killian, you know? And it's a really, really inexpensive alternative for Killian's uh, Love Don't Be Shy. But let's talk about Drague first. Drague is this one. This is created by Fabrice Pellegrin, and Fabrice Pellegrin creates fragrances for Diptyque, among, among other brands. This particular one is uh, ultra sweet. In fact, all three of the fragrances are ultra sweet, but out of the three, the heliotrope is the least sweet, and I feel like the least gourmand, but these, de these definitely are gourmand fragrances with Drague and Guimauve being the sweetest. And even though Guimauve and Drague kind of have sort of similarities to each other, they do go into different directions. So this is a 2012 launch. It features notes of almonds, almond blossom, orange blossom, vanilla, musk, cardamom, 
cardamom, mandarin orange, pentagram, plums, and cedar. So it's a very floral experience and also very, very powdery, but it's very, very nutty. In fact, nuttiness runs throughout the whole entire collection. If you like nutty fragrances, you gotta check out these fragrances because they do. Even the one that reminds me of uh, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy has nuttiness in it as well. So if you like the Love Don't Be Shy, and we all know it's been reformulated to death, it's watered down, and they're tricking us into believing that you're gonna buy that bottle and let it sit for like years for it to turn its dark color. This is gonna be great for you as a great alternative, but this one also reminds me a little bit of Love Don't Be Shy, but definitely goes into a different direction. Lots of almonds here and lots of almond blossom, so there's a floral touch here. But then you also have the orange blossom, and this is when it starts reminding me of Love Don't Be Shy. But this goes into a little bit of a different direction. It does get spicier, definitely has lots of spiciness, and then there's some light fruitiness that comes in as well. Very, very citrusy and almondy and very, very nutty. And there's some warm spices thrown in. There's definitely lots of citrusy touches, but it's the more uh, floral kind of citruses because it's the orange blossom, which is the flower from the citrus orange tree, things like that. It's very, very delicious. I really do enjoy it. It does lean feminine. But as I'm saying, these are targeted to ladies. If you like sweet gourmand fragrances, definitely try these. Especially the kind of gourmand fragrances that are, you know, with nuttiness, almonds, and of course citrus flowers and things like that. So Drague is uh, the first one I'm talking about, the oldest one in the collection. And I think it's just three. Although when I was looking and doing some research on this collection, there was a fourth fragrance in a purplish lavender colored bottle, which I have not seen. And I bought these from FragranceNet and they're all around 40, 40 to $45. This one, I didn't write the price. No, I just wrote down that they're under $50 for all. And as I said, one of them is 40 and uh, two of them are 45-ish, somewhere around there. And these are 100 ml bottles and they're Eau de Parfum concentration. So the price point is really, really great per mil price is also really, really great. So this is Reminiscence Les Notes Gourmands Drague. And this one actually also has that name Drague uh, in addition to the, the fragrance from Lancome called Iris Drague. Um, something to do with almonds, and I think it's almond, uh, candied almond, I believe. Uh, some, somewhere, something around there, like a Jor Jordan, Jordan almonds or things like that. So that's what got me intrigued about this particular fragrance. In fact, I was looking that up and I was also looking up alternatives to Love Don't Be Shy, and this came up. So I thought, you know what, I'll take a chance and buy all these three fragrances and uh, let you guys know about it. This is a video one of two today. I've got two sweet fragrance or sweet uh, fragrance themed videos. The second one is 12 sweetest fragrances on a budget, $50 and under, and stay tuned for that later on. But let's move on to Guimauve, this one right here. So Guimauve is in that same style of fragrances like Love Don't Be Shy. There's many out there and I've done countless alternatives to Love Don't Be Shy videos on the channel. If you haven't caught those, please go catch them. I feel like that fragrance has just been watered down. They have but it butchered that fragrance. Extreme watering down of Love Don't Be Shy. That's why I feel like these are, they might, they're actually, they have more of a thickness about them. They're denser and heavier, whereas Love Don't Be Shy is just watery. It's just gotten really watery, plus the color is uh, like a pale salmon colored, where that color used to be the dark, really, really reddish dark color. So I'm, that's why I'm always looking for alternatives to that fragrance, because I'm gonna keep letting you guys know all the art alternatives I can find for Love Don't Be Shy, and this is definitely a great, great alternative to Love Don't Be Shy. So this fragrance and also Heliotrope, the next one I'm gonna to talk to you about, were both launched in 2008. They were created by Jacques Flory. And I had to look his name up because I, saw, I thought to myself, the first one that I talked to you about, uh, Drague, is uh, Fabrice Pellegrin. I'm not too familiar with Jacques Flory, but in the back of my mind, I remembered his name. And guess where, what he's done? He created a fragrance called Psychedelique for Javoy. Among many, many other fragrances for many brands, I believe he's done Amouage, he's also done Zerjoff, many of them. So he has a really, really great catalog of fragrances. And it's interesting that he created uh, Javoy Psychedelique, where 
I find similarities to reminiscences patchouli. So very, very interesting that he does that fragrance for Javoy. But this Guimauve is a great alternative to Love Don't Be Shy, as I said. And this is uh, featuring notes of almonds, neroli, vanilla, orange blossom, lavender, mint, pettigran, rosemary, tonka beans, musk, sandalwood, and ambergris. So this is definitely in line with that vanillic neroli orange blossom combination, marshmallowy, sugary, caramel lightly just a kind of a gooey consistency but this particular one does go powdery it definitely has a very powdery experience so you do experience that powder touch here but it's loads of almonds contrasted with neroli and I feel like the neroli orange blossom similar for uh, you know notes they're derived from the same flower just the distillation extraction process is different that's why they're called differently so even though we've got loads of almonds here we also have neroli and lots of orange blossom so it kind of like tones down that whole almondy touch even though you're experiencing the the nuttiness from the almonds in here but loads of vanilla with this one as well and in the background there's some aromatics there's some lavender in there there's a little light minty touch, but also Pettigran comes in, which is the leaves from that bitter orange tree to give you that kind of a more of a bitter citrus green experience throughout the particular fragrance. It's really, really delicious. There's some light tonka beany kind of uh, nutty bitterness as well, a light tobacco-ish touch. And then, you know, you've got musk and uh, a little a little bit of ambergris. But I feel like it settles to kind of a light ambery, nutty, woody, uh, because there's some sandalwood in here. So it does get a little creamy, but I felt like this is a definitely a powdery experience. And one thing I should say, I mentioned Jordan almonds uh, earlier. And the powderiness of these fragrances kind of give me a very Jordan almondy kind of an experience. It does remind me of these beautiful pastel colored uh, Jordan almonds that uh, flavor-wise and of course smell-wise is kind of like uh, connected uh, with each other, especially with the colors of the bottles as well. So this is definitely probably one of the better ones. They're all great. I think all three of them are definitely worth it for under 50 bucks. So anyway, Guimauve uh, is the second fragrance I'm going to talk to you about from Reminiscence uh, in the Le Notes Gourmands collection. Finally, the third fragrance in this collection is called Heliotrope. Basically focusing on that note, the flower, heliotrope. This is from the Lenotes Gourmands collection. Heliotrope, I always mention, is a flower that smells almondy. Plus it kind of has a powdery touches and powder is kind of running throughout this whole collection. So I feel like the powderiness is a you know, signature for these fragrances. Plus the almondy. This one has almonds in addition to the heliotrope. So you have the heliotrope's almond-like smell beautifully blended with the almonds that are in here, but it features, well, I should say, it is also created by Jacques Flory, as I was talking about earlier, who created this one. But this features almonds, heliotrope, tonka beans, vanilla, benzoin, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, cedar, fig, and green notes. So this is definitely the least gourmand of the gourmands in this three uh, fragrance collection. And I felt like it, it does have vanilla, but it's not dominating. It's mostly the heliotrope and almonds that's dominating here with the addition of tonka beans. And tonka beans has a bitter almond-like quality anyway. So the whole fragrance is kind of like an almond balm, bitter kind of floral, powdery, kind of like almond, uh, powdered almonds, like, because that's becoming a kind of a staple at uh, grocery stores lately where people are using it in place of uh, flour and things like that. But it kind of has that kind of a smell, but you do experience some vanillic touches in here. There's some resinous touches. It's sweet. It does get sweet, but as I said, it doesn't get as sweet as the other two. So it's kind of like a light gourmand and very, very nutty almondy experience. And you know, it does settle to kind of a sandalwoody touch and there's some musk under there, but you know, very, very faintly, there's some light fruity touch. Not very much in this particular fragrance because for me, the almondy qualities of this particular fragrance is just totally dominating. So those of you that love almondy fragrances should definitely check these out but I think you should go to this one first because this is full on almonds, a uh, powdery kind of a dusty almond experience that's really, really delicious. Does get vanillic, it does get resinous, 
but it's mostly about the almonds. Anyway, Heliotrope is the third fragrance from Reminiscence, Le Notes Gourmands collection. What do you think of these three fragrances? Are you familiar with them? Have you tried them? Are you a fan of Reminiscence fragrances? As I said earlier, you guys have been asking me to do more videos about this uh, house. I am starting with this particular uh, video. If you haven't caught my review for Patchouli, Reminiscence Patchouli, go catch that video as well. It's from a few years ago, but it's definitely one of the best patchoulis out there. And I think this collection or this house has some great fragrances, so I'm going to dig in uh, a little further. Uh, they do have a few other patchouli fragrances in addition to the Reminiscence, uh, the original patchouli. So hopefully maybe I'll pick up a few other patchouli uh, flankers or other patchouli fragrances from this house and do a kind of a, a whole video on all of their patchouli fragrances. Either way, let me know what your thoughts are on these three Lemnotes Gourmands fragrances. Let me know if you're a fan of Reminiscence. What do you think about them? What are your favorite fr fragrances from this house? And if you want to go buy these particular fragrances, I know there's no place we can go and sample them but they're definitely budget fragrances around 45 or 40 dollars for 100 ml i have a link to uh, fragrancenet.com in the info box uh, click there you can go directly there and search for uh, the uh, fragrances there so you can buy them anyway thanks so much for watching today uh, this video stay tuned for my 12 sweetest fragrances on a budget video fragrances all under 100 the sweetest fragrances they can buy that's uh, less expensive inexpensive and things like that but i appreciate you tuning in if you have any questions or comments please list below please like this video please share it follow me on instagram and facebook and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye <music>